I wanted to discuss, you know, the rebrand of Shiva Shiva and really get like input from people that have been in, obviously, me and Simba do the business together, but people that have been like a big part of the brand from pretty much the beginning, you know, used to do the pictures for us. Chengi, you've always been there when we've done anything creatively. As you're aware, you know, we've faced quite a bit of trouble when it's come to actually doing the business so far. But I feel like we need to take responsibility in knowing that, you know, we weren't taking things slow. We just wanted, we, we wanted things to be out. But I've come to the realisation that, you know, we can't keep on trying to go full steam ahead. We can't be running before we can walk. I wouldn't say it's a rebrand. It's more like a slowdown. Slowdown, reevaluate, like what's really happening so from an operational perspective we're gonna be really slowing down and tightening up so firstly we're gonna be moving our manufacturing to italy okay why italy so fundamentally it's accessibility mm -hmm. Italy, you know, we can hop on a plane, be there at the factories and actually observe and see what's happening and actually build like a really good relationship with our manufacturers, the people that are going to help build the brand to what we vision it to be. And then, of course, the quality. Like, Italy is known for being the king or queen mm. of fashion, of manufacturing clothing, like the garment industry. And also brands, the big yeah. name brands. You know, you've got your Prada, you've got your Dosio Cabana, you've got your Versace. All of those high-end brands are manufactured in Italy. And there's a reason for that. But we need to also kind of focus on the cost. I think Italy is pretty expensive to kind of manufacture there. Manufacturing in Italy, it's going to cost. Yeah. It's going to cost so much more than manufacturing in the Far East, you know, the, the countries that you're used to hearing. It's scary. From looking at the numbers that I've been receiving, I'm not sure whether I actually printed it out. In, oh, I've got handouts to give y'all. <laughs> I'm not sure whether I actually printed it out, but in comparison, it is triple, sometimes quadruple. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the price but is that worth worth the money so i, I assume because it's italy you're probably getting good value for money as far as like the quality of the materials sure. the quality of the stitching because you know they're sort of like world, world famous for their for their sort of like seamstress stitching skills exactly that's literally one of the reasons why we want to move the manufacturer into italy we want to compete with these high-end brands yes and do you know what i think of i think of like to say which is in it in our what's the word traje trajectory mm -hmm. we want to be stocked in places like flannels and selfridges and harrods you right. know right. they're going to be looking at where our clothes are coming from exactly. mm -hmm. because you know we're living in a world where we need to be actually concentrating on sustainability yes and sustainability comes in you know reducing our air miles the further we manufacture away from where we are mm -hmm. the more of an impact we're putting on the environment so if we can bring it as close to home as we can mm -hmm. what's what's the what's the problem with that one of the key things is knowing that the people that are making our things are being well paid yeah that's powerful that's key. Mm -hmm. yeah. i just want to touch on outsourcing certain aspects of the business design well, <laughs> Design, customer service, and the customer experience, all of that kind of stuff will remain as in-house as we possibly can keep it. Definitely looking into outsourcing certain aspects of digital marketing. I do like the idea of controlling the Instagram account myself, but I do feel like possibly there is somebody out there that might be able to do it better than I can. And our finances, we're looking at outsourcing an accountant to help us yeah. Are your accounts plugged into Sage, Excel, or are they completely paper-based at the moment? Because paper-based, generally, the cost is uh, much less. So the basis of the accountants will just make our life a lot easier when it comes to submitting accounts, when it comes to self-assessments as directors, when it actually comes to VAT returns. You know, all these kind of elements are very time-consuming as well as keeping records of everything as well. But moving over to what I think is a little bit more exciting. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was boring. <laughs> 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 no, Brandon, but it's important though. Like, yes, no, it is. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like it's something that you really have to look at especially if you want to like scale up in yeah. the way that we want to scale yeah. up yeah definitely. we have to really look at every single little thing yeah. and yeah. just be like boom 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 um but brandon moving forward 
Shimosh Vo is going to remain the same in terms of our colorways. So we're known for our little accents of orange and the black, a little touches of white. We're not changing any logos or anything like that when it comes to the rebrand. We're remaining pretty much the same. But what I will say is how we want Shimbo Shimbo to be seen, that is something that we're going to be looking at adjusting. I can sit here and say, you know, Shimbo Shimbo is a luxury streetwear company. Mm -hmm. And when we started, that is what we wanted it to be. But when we actually looked into it and actually started researching what luxury actually means, I don't feel like Shimbo Shimbo at the time was it there was that, mm -hmm. yes it wasn't there mm -hmm. and even with the direction that we're going in price wise technically we still won't be luxury because we ain't going to be charging a thousand pounds for a jacket yeah i would say we'll be in the boat of contemporary which is like just before luxury yeah. i would say so the price is they're not going to be accessible to everyone i'm not gonna lie mm -hmm. but there's, there's things we need to consider we're manufacturing in italy mm -hmm. our prices are going to reflect that even though we're not going to be categorically luxury we still want our customers to have that luxury, luxury shopping experience. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so what i really wanted to do today is like look at some of the things that we have already and see what kind of things we should keep the same and the things we need to change so this has been a bag that we've used for pop-ups um we have actually updated this bag because it used to be like an orange paper bag oh yeah yes. i remember that but now it's this nice matte bag with like the orange mm -hmm. and also like we've got the emblem which i'm not sure whether people actually know like take note of like that, that it's but inside. it's yeah. everywhere nice. like you will see it everywhere with shimmer shimmer like it's not as loud as the one on simba's t-shirt no but yeah. that is everywhere so what do we think guys is this is this luxury enough like what what are we thinking with this bag like i'm even talking like do you think we should even switch the colors around so maybe the bag would be orange and then the text would be black like the orange could make sense because then it would stand out because i think a lot of places are doing like black bags or like just black plain mm -hmm. so maybe the orange could stand out i think no one's really doing that except like louis vuitton that's definitely what i was thinking mm -hmm. um especially like the box might just go for one of the boxes I've always loved this bag though. Yeah, same. Mm -hmm. I, I really like, like that bag. Um, and I like what I like where the logo is as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cause I, it's, it's always good to leave certain details that are just kind of, you know, not too in your face. Yeah. Um, I think that's a nice touch. So when I've been thinking about like packaging for boxes, I definitely think we need to go for a more rigid box. Mm -hmm. So here's like the box that we've been using currently as you can see if you feel it like it's less rigid like yeah, it's mm. sleeper. yeah. and it gets damaged in the middle it's actually quite upsetting like and it does hold a bit of weight as well and i always equate weight with luxury i think so yeah, yeah. another thing that i actually bought was I forgot i even have mood board i have a mood board for some of the boxes that i've been looking at guys mm. so Obviously, these oh. are from well-known luxury companies. Oh, Fendi does orange too. I didn't know that. No, I didn't know that. But what other colour would they have been, actually? True. So but true. What other company does, like, the luxury black? Maybe not with the orange accents, but... I have definitely seen, like, up-and-coming brands mm -hmm. that use the black boxes, but they will have, like, white text, for example. Mm -hmm. I love, I love, love, love our tags. The C3 tags, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can't do them like this anymore. Right? What? Because it's plastic. Plastic. Oh. Yeah. We have to move away from the plastic. And it's so sad because I really love them. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a decision that we have to, to make. Sustainability and all that. We kind of just want to have one size chart mm -hmm. instead of having like men and women. Just right. one straight up size Maybe chart. Six, yeah. yeah because some of the pieces that we've been looking at designing, we want both men and women to, to, wear. to wear it. Gender neutral fashion is in. Yes, I've been saying this for the longest time. So what should, what should, what should be pioneer of gender neutral fashion? For sure, I'm down for that, to be honest. 
especially in that like silk set we've been dancing a while that I do like but after seeing that video I was like you know what this could look good on my hand as well mm -hmm. so it's gonna look great on me yeah, yeah. for sure <laughs> my fiance isn't supporting me yeah call me lame you did this <laughs> <laughs> At the end of your little speech. And comment and subscribe. And we're back. Lastly, one of the things that I wanted to actually ask is Instagram. Y'all have seen the Shiva Shiva Instagram feed. What do we think? When we go through this slowdown, this rebrand, my question to you guys is do I archive the pictures that are there and pretty much like start afresh with these high-end pictures? Uh, I don't know, it's, it's been a battle. It's a tough one, it's a tough one. I, I think depend, it depends on the kind of rebrand that you're going for. Mm -hmm. If you're going for a complete overhaul rebrand, which doesn't sound like you are, mm -hmm. then I would say definitely archive everything and start afresh. But because you're going for more of, you know, blaming in some things and keeping some things and getting rid of other things then I would say there's room for you to keep certain pictures that fit the new sort of Stop. style and the mm -hmm. look that you're going for yeah okay. I'm, a, I'm a firm believer of like everything you should always tell a story yeah um, so if was to just you know, got rid of all the pictures that were there you don't kind of see the trajectory of Shoba mm -hmm. Shoba from when it kind of started from I like the fact that you can look at something and see the way it it's like a journey and then it shows a journey yeah but then i like the idea of just removing everything yeah. starting afresh everything's clean everything yeah. looks good all together so, and it shows how we're meaning to go forward. yeah so is the rebrand tying in with a new line or is it just a rebrand it ties right in with the new line so you see like when 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 every time the big fashion big name fashion brands release a new line it's always like completely different. You don't see any of the old mm. promotional materials anymore. That's like yesterday's, you know, mm. stuff. With this brand new collection that we're working on, I see it as being the first in a line of classic mm -hmm. collections that we're gonna come out with. Like all the stuff we were doing before, it's not gonna come okay. on sale. Then now, if that's the case, then just start a fresh. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be painful. I don't wanna delete them, no, yeah. archive them, yeah. but yeah. just building that that Instagram page again. Mm -hmm. Then I do see, I do see brands doing it. I do yeah. see like they they're like, you know what? We know exactly what direction we wanna go in. Mm -hmm. Let's close off that chapter. Mm -hmm. General come to a nice little consensus about the Instagram because I felt like mm -hmm. it's been troubling me. I reckon starting afresh might be a good thing. I feel like what? How many pictures is on there? I'm not sure, but you're gonna have to go individually and like archive each mm -hmm. one. Fifty two. Oh, so it's oh, not it's so that bad. many. It's not so that many. Because <laughs> I feel like I'm that person who is going on there and deleting, not deleting, but archiving mm -hmm. when it's like eh, tired of that pic. All things pertaining to the website is gonna remain in house for the time being, um, but we are gonna be outsourcing some of the things from like the Shopify experts, the bits that like I can't do. Release dates. For this it's new exciting. collection. Yes, mm -hmm. So it's slow fashion. Our turnaround times are not gonna be black before. So realistically, I think we're actually looking at late January, okay. February, mm -hmm. uh, maybe even March. I wouldn't want to push it into March, but January, February, from like talking to some of the manufacturers that we've been speaking to so mm. far, sourcing the fabrics alone, even me, because like I have been doing some sourcing, sourcing the fabrics alone takes weeks. And then during that, we're trying to like do the prototypes, trying to do the sampling and all of that kind of stuff. It's such a process, but we don't, we, we can't be trying to do things fast anymore. Yeah. What do you think? I think I think so. Especially yeah, sounds, um, but March, I feel like March makes sense because it's like being of spring, like yeah, things yeah, like yeah. just starting afresh. Yeah. It's like yeah, a rebirth or some sort. It's yeah. true. Yeah, it's yeah, true. Like As I was saying earlier, I think I think it's it's, it's about what you do with it. So you, you don't have to follow the the, the seasons, mm -hmm. but you can use them to target your marketing yeah especially like on social media mm -hmm. you know with like tags and that sort of thing yeah because um, it makes you it makes it easier for people to sort of find you and, and yeah. start with you when you yeah. yeah 
be good to kind of find out generally when people actually start doing shopping what kind of season do they do mm. of their shopping any questions or last bit of input before we close this lovely meeting i think just kind of all understanding the kind of direction we're trying to go in and everyone kind of knowing what direction we want to go um i think as well one thing to know you kind of touched on it before mm -hmm. but just obviously with the fact that you know being branding and you're going to be doing a new line i think it's like really important to get some fresh blood in as far as photography there's a lot of um, up and coming yeah like really talented young artists photography wise, video wise, that are doing some really great work. Um, and obviously, you know, I'm always down to link you up. So I think, yeah, I think that's definitely like a, something to consider. And even just bringing in elements that maybe you hadn't used before, especially yeah. when it comes to like social media, like the reels. Me personally, whenever I'm on, on, on like social media or Instagram, I love seeing like brands doing reels, yeah. but they do it like in a creative fun way, where mm -hmm. it's like, it doesn't seem like they're just trying to sell you clothes, yeah. but yeah. they're selling you kind of like their lifestyle. Which is, I think that's one good. aspect of show that we really never really touched on. Mm -hmm. The fact that also we want it to be a lifestyle, things that we want to do like brunches, parties, and also bringing like a generation of young talent into our team as well and having a bit of that you know SA house influence yes. as well mm -hmm. like all fashion has a That's close a, link to um, music to music yeah. and yeah. music it's a great segue yes yeah this is slowly becoming mainstream as well yeah. so yeah. Yeah. actually very quickly yeah, yeah. too quickly <laughs> Yeah, true, because it's like when it happens. It's not bad thing. I think. Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm on the edge too. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. when things go mainstream too quick, too fast, the people coming in don't really have enough like respect yeah. for it. Yeah. They're just there for the you know enjoyment. Mm -hmm. Not even for that. They're just there for, just to be seen there. Yeah. You know, yeah. But you know what I admire about South Africans. I feel like they're always thinking about what's next. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you want Shola Shola to be like, sort of like, I don't know, the food, like what food it was to hip hop. You want Shola Shola to bring yeah. that to like something like that. Was it that documentary we were watching? Mm -hmm. um, the Netflix one? one? Yeah. yeah. With the, with the, with the, the uh, designers and the... And yeah, and that guy that got sued because he used to do custom, like, mm -hmm. high-end pieces mm -hmm. for these, like, rappers For, like, Gucci and, and stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's, like, exactly what I picture. Yeah. Shiva Shiva and someone who can dance music. I think that pretty much... Pretty much that concludes, yeah. concludes me, and I yeah. I think it's been a good one. It's really opened my eyes to different things that maybe I might not have thought about. That's why I like to have like these kind of meetings. This definitely won't be the last 